So do we want to risk uh, an actual pilot on this and just not repack the parachutes? We could. If, uh, what do you think, uh, CFT, uh, since you seem to know about these parachutes, could we use two of these and would that be sufficient for landing on Duna without using the main chute? To let me open the other chutes, but then we have to carry other chutes. See, this is the problem. <laughs> now, there's not a huge difference between the drogue chute and main chute mass. The question is how slow the this drogue chute will get us to, so that maybe we can use the engine to land. We've got a 30 part limit. So either we carry one drogue and one main and like land tilted and hope for the best, or we use two drogue chutes and land with the main engine at the bottom. Yeah, I'm thinking of the power landing, it's just it's been a long time since I landed on Duna. So I don't know if two drogue chutes will be good enough to allow us to do a nice soft landing. Maybe I should switch to the... The thing is, the engine is a spark. So it's not got a huge thrust to weight ratio on Duna. So I could switch to the Terrier. Then we will have more of a thrust weight ratio, but we'll have less delta V overall because it's heavier. But two sparks? I guess that'd be okay. They're not really surface mount though. But I guess I could cheat that. Well, it's not really a cheat. Only down to 200-ish? Well, then that won't be enough. Now, we'll be over part count, though. No, we can't do that. We can only have one engine, otherwise we'll be over 30. Unless we take off the thermometer. This time, maybe, maybe we should just... Well, we could decelerate using the stage and skip Ike this time. We could skip Ike this time. If we skip Ike, then we can use this stage to decelerate to deploy the parachutes. I think that's a better idea. I I want my launch clamps. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think I think we'll just use the that stage and skip Ike this time. Keep it simple. Yeah, I'll I'll use a pilot. I will risk foul. I just don't like not having control. And, well, the maneuver nodes are also helpful. Let's get some more battery power. And, uh, when, if we need to have something else, it's probably, well, it's either we have the always open one or we have the battery. Should we have a solar panel or should we have another battery? We've got two solar panels already, of course. The question is whether we should have one of these solar panels so that we can, you know, keep charging while these are closed through the atmosphere. I guess that's only a short-term thing. If we got a battery that'll last, we've got a battery that'll last. That's two. This is two hundred charge. We'll use that. Yeah, uh, we won't be repacking the chutes. Um, we'll use these two on the landing on Duna. And then we'll reserve this one for a landing on Kerbin. By Kerbin, we'll be dumping this part anyway. That's 30 parts. D2. But this time, this time we're going to risk... Should we uh, risk Val or Jeb? We only have two pilots. Pilots cost too much money. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, well, how they figure that we're going to be able to spend 216,000 to hire. We haven't even hired anybody yet. Increase. No, it was the same before Dorori died. I tried to hire a pilot before Dorori died, but it was the same price, basically. Well, we haven't been able to hire any, I mean, rescue any pilots. We've got these two solar panels. And we got a battery, and the heat shield has a hundred ablator. Is a hundred ablator enough to come back from Duna? That's a question. Mildly better. 
Uh, do you know if uh, can a pilot create a maneuver node, or do we have to have comms to create a maneuver node? Pilots can. Okay. So we we don't have any comms. We're gonna send Val. Wait, we're gonna send Jeb. Val has more experience. Okay. Hello, Llama. We've killed our first Kerbal. This is my opening line now. We've killed the Kerbal! <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> it wasn't Jeb, though. It was, it was an expendable Kerbal that we rescued. Jeb hasn't died yet. He's still alive. Soon. Well, you had a chance to save him. I just want you to know that. You could have suggested something. Anyway, here we go. You could have done something, but you didn't. Party grades are on the moon. Presumably only because some Kerbals smashed a lander into the moon and decided to put tardigrades on it. The fact that I pronounce it tardigrades makes it sound like they're late for something. But anyway, like some, uh, some professor submitted grades late or something. Hmm. No, actually it was an Israeli uh, one, right? With the tardigrades, it was the Israeli. A little Israeli lander. The Chinese sent plants. I think they grew cotton or something. Cute. Until you see what became of them on the moon. I think they're cute now. They were only small because, because of the pressures of gravity, you know. Now, now they don't have gravity to limit them. Find oil. It's sort of easier to find oil around here, you know. Because, like, creatures. But yeah, because the moon has those um, mass concentrations, it's tough to... Keep something in orbit around the moon properly unless you're in a high orbit, but high orbits are useless. For, uh, for surface research, so it's just a mess. Timing's a bit off because we don't have any alarm clock or anything. Probably not exactly the right time to transfer over. Titanium? I don't know. A lot more likely than oil, but I doubt it. Yeah, but even then it's not really high concentrations of helium-3 and we don't really need... Ah, uh, we'll correct that on the make course adjustment. We don't need helium-3 yet. Yeah, I mean, it might have higher concentrations, but it might actually still be easier to get it, like, other ways. Like, even to synthesize it. As I understand it. Half percent titanium? That's still not bad. We'd be sort of better off if the moon was made out of some rare cheese that rich people will are into. Oh yeah, no, 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 if we already had a base, yeah. But I'm talking about an economic reason to go. The original statement was... You know, uh, if there was oil on the moon, we'd be there in five years. The question is whether there's an economic incentive to go. As opposed to, you know, yes, of course it's a good idea to use local resources. That's a separate thing. It's the initial impetus. Well, you know what we gotta do? Populate with self-replicating robots and then they'll, they'll eventually turn into Grey Goo and swarm the earth and kill all of us. 
come and help build SLS. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is they're like Alabama Senator Goo. <laughs> is that Mr. Grey Goo? Sounds like some sort of hamburger helper thing. I don't know. It'd be like uh, Soylent Green, except worse. But then I somehow uh, thought I like Mr. Clean and then other household things. I don't know where I got the... Is there a Mr. something that's food related? I don't know. Oh, now there's a free Ike encounter. Great. When you could have helped Dorori, did you? Did you? Ike? No. Well, that'll do for a start. I guess that'll be good. Let's go for that. Mr. Potato Head. Yes. That, that makes a lot more sense. At least I know Mr. Potato Head. What were they even thinking when they came up with Mr. Potato Head? This would sell. <laughs> Gotta be some kid was playing with their food, right? Happy thoughts? It was, it was a different time. It's true. Well... Mr. Potato Head was not dangerous. Well, there might be a choking hazard, but... Casually, after the last Kerbal died? I don't know if it was casually, but... Certainly going over there. It's gonna happen. Don't know how many Kerbal's gonna die. And we have less fuel here than we had last time. It's gonna be rough. Remove from symmetry. Yes, that I was looking for that earlier. Mercury and a chunk of uranium. You had a chunk of uranium? Lucky. I had a chem set. I didn't have any chunk of uranium. <laughs> Chemical known. It's so true. Every everything is labeled known to cause cancer here. Flea market. Were, were the fleas larger than normal? <laughs> Ike is big. Not big enough though. Didn't capture us into orbit or anything. It's not like Leif. Leif would do that. Last time we were already in orbit and I aimed for 22 kilometers and it didn't pull us down. So I'm going to have to aim a little bit lower this time. Well, we didn't actually get the science... Li I didn't even do the interplanetary one. This time, we need to get all the stuff. Well, there's Ike. Are we going to get low of Ike? No, that's too high. 112 is too high for Ike, right? I guess we'll check. Eye over. This is a bad idea. Well, did you stop me? You didn't stop me. You encourage this sort of thing. You're making me feel very unhappy. She? Do you know something about Jeb I don't? The situation is a she? That's complicated. Oh, he just captured. That was a weird camera change. But we're going up. Again.
I think we're just gonna have to come back around. If we can. So even that's not low enough. I guess it'll be 12, 12 kilometers. Don't start on the plant thing with me. Hey, I'm, I, I don't eat them, unlike some people. Okay, well, bread is a separate thing, but I definitely don't eat green plants. Camera's being interesting again. Intelligent? Everybody's just pretending, it's fine. Oh god. Well, let's try. That's a good altitude. I guess. Well, let's get it safer. We've got the Delta V and we're gonna dump this stage anyway. Why is one not out? Why is one not out? Oh, because that didn't get the symmetry thing. Whoa. Oh, they, they finally deployed. Okay. Oh, only one finally deployed. Oh, right. Yeah, it's looking better than the last time I was here. Well, okay. The time before that. Last time I was here, I didn't get a very good look. Are we in lowlands? Can we pick up a Duna rock? I don't know. Are any of those rocks, or Duna stone I mean, are any of those stones Duna stones? That is a good question. Oh, that's a slope? Is that a slope? Oh god. Ah. Okay. It is a slope. It's not a horrible slope. Okay. Um, we did the crew report. We have to grab that first. Oh, we can take a surface sample from here. We are on the lowlands, so we can look for the stone. That's a cheaty surface sample. Um, their jetpacks are good enough, right? Because I didn't put a ladder because we don't have enough parts. I mean, which of the... Uh, the problem is I've got ground clutter. There's like... Jeb, Jeb, at Duna Lowlands. For Dorori. I mean, which rock is a Duna stone anyway? I'm just gonna have him prance, I'm not even gonna use. Well, okay, we should test. Okay, the, the, the jetpacks work. 
That's important. Yeah, definite Ike there. You know, they, they, they've sort of created a haze. They haven't created clouds. Zoom out a bit. What am I supposed to... When do I stop? <laughs> there is a haze. That's a heck of a zoom out, by the way. I don't know. Maybe that rock over there? The special rocks look out of place? Yeah, they should. I mean, I think maybe that one. I'm not sure. I mean, there's a lot of little rocks that sort of stick out. I can, I just don't want to use too much. And the gravity is... You know, more. I mean, that looks... It looks like a rock. The, the, ah, gosh darn it. Little cam view is funny. They didn't used to have a cam view in EVAs. The big rock is too big. I mean this one. But I thought they were Kerbal sized, so maybe it's not. Let's pin this. Check grab? What do you mean? Maybe if I stand on top. Oh yeah, wait, wait. It did something. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Ah. I pick up... Oh no. Why do I have to put pick up Duna Stone so close to remove helmet anyway? Okay, we've we've. I thought we did. Uh, yes, yes, keep. See how strong it is. Um. Well, the we can get the gravity of Duna. I mean, it's uh, 0 0.3 g. Okay. Does anybody know what the Go see. I don't want to go see a big rock. I'm good. <laughs> we'll send a rover for that. Um, the phase angle to return home from Duna to Kerbin. Oh, suddenly the jetpack doesn't want me to go up anymore. Jeez. Or no, I, I don't think that. No, phase angle, not um, not. Ejection angle because it's a completely stocked thing. What about completely stocked? Do you not understand? Negative 60. Well, let me verify because you're giving me so many numbers. Um, phase angle to return from Duna to Kirk. I could do the math by hand. It's negative 75. I'm using- I can't afford any more mods, I'm using them all in the Mars Colonization series. I have to make my own mods now, because I can't- I won't survive otherwise. Um, we'll time warp in the VAB. Uh, not the VAB, tracking station. No, they're not like stock, ask EJ. Ask EJ, go. Go ask EJ. <laughs> now, if EJ says something is stock, then it's stock. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh, we'll see how much... I mean, it's not that much debris. I've seen hundreds. We want to see what the limits are in stock, see? How much can it deal with? That is the question. See, if we weren't playing stock, we wouldn't be able to answer that question properly. How much can the stock game put up with? But, since we are playing stock, we can answer the question. 
I need my protractor. Uh, I think he smacked into the ground so hard that no debris survived. Does that look like 75 degrees to you? That looks like 75 degrees to me. Or, uh, well, if we can manage it... Yeah, we can bump it up to a thousand. That Well, we'll see if we can do that. I doubt it's advisable to do that, but we'll see. Well, stuff did not pop up immediately when I jumped to this vessel. That's always good. Oh. Um, yeah, let's go. Just wanted to think whether it's a good idea or not. Oh, let's go up for a little bit. Oh no, I don't want to complicate this mission anymore, thank you. You just want me to kill Jeb. <laughs> Stop it. We're bringing him home. It's the right time. More science? Yeah, but they didn't give us a contract to land on Ike. Nope. We will wait until they give us a contract. Oh, go to Ike. That's what you meant. Oh, okay. I was not parsing it properly. I was parsing it as go Toki for some reason. I'm tired. It's because L's and I's look the same. Well, I do know some, like Band on the Run and stuff, but I just don't know that one. Maybe I'm amazed, you know, of course, uh, Live and Let Die, you know. It's on that. Yeah, no, I've only heard the sync. I've only heard the specific songs, not. I didn't actually listen to the album. We should have enough to go home. I we definitely don't have enough to go to Ike. Just for you to know. I mean, I've tried to air break in Jules' atmosphere. I've tried to descend all the way into Jules' atmosphere. Sure. All the usual business. Heck, I've done it to Jupiter. I I don't remember. It's been a long time. You you didn't, don't even know about the Leaf Tourists, do you? You weren't here. You don't know. You watched it. There was a vid. It it was quite a long drown out affair. To be I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a very discreet thing. It was like a few months worth of trouble and suffering. I guess we'll do a mid-course adjustment as well. Surprised it didn't pull it down by now. Anyway, a lot of the old vids are private. So as to not confuse people to think that that's how Kerbal, is, uh, Kerbal Space Program is right now. I don't remember which series that was in. It ended the series. I don't know if uh, the end of the YouTube series actually captured what what all happened. Actually, I, f I forget if our last attempts was even made into a video. Maybe I I forget if I have it in there. Let me see. I mean, the thing, I don't, the, does real ISRU work with Kerbalism? I have it in there. I don't, I don't know if I have the latest version though. 1.0.4? Oh, then it'd still be up. I'm surprised it's that recent. 1.0.4. I thought it was like in, you know, alpha days. Probably not. Well, 
I don't know if I'll need the parts or not, we'll see, because I'm using my own little hack of the stock ore system, basically, right now, for ISRU. How many... F yeah, there were a lot of failures, yeah. But there was the epic failure. The one where we got so close and yet so far. Well, let's see if we get an encounter. There it is. Uh, what altitude should we come in at? Two, 26 kilometers is what I usually go for. Let's hope it's good, good enough and safe. Yep. I know I've got a second encounter. That's because we're pretty close to capturing, probably. So we're pretty close to being in the same orbit. Let's just see how much Delta V is actually involved in capturing. Well, I mean, it's a little bit... I mean, less than 200, we'll say. Anyway, let's see what's going to happen. There is Kerbin. Oh, don't come so close so quickly, Kerbin. Alright, let's try and slow down with the engine as much as we can before we having to we have to ditch the service module. We've already captured, so it should be pretty safe. Bathed her, gave her a bottle, read her rocket science for babies, and then just put her to bed. She cried for no more than a minute. And went to bed. Very good. I think we'll be alright. Mountains are safely to our right. Now there's some slopes down there. Somebody asked me if I had landed in an inland lake. I don't know if we can hit that puddle, but... I doubt it. No, we're more like hitting this ridge. Mm, no, that's the wrong way. No, that's the wrong way. Um, that's the way. Jeez. It always gives me a bloody heart attack, these parachutes. Take your time, why don't you? That's eh, not too far above sea level. You can tell the water is only at sea level, right? Yeah, it's a heart attack every time. And here we go again. Uh, what biome is it? Oh, no, let's not overwrite. Um, Eevee, what biome is it? It's gotta be grasslands, but we're pretty close to the pole. Yeah, it's grasslands. Okay. Recover vessel. We didn't kill Jeb! Dorori's sacrifice was not in vain. <laughs> At the edge of two tectonic plates. Yeah, no kidding. Golden parachute? That's some WeWork stuff. 634.8 science. We're at 1.5 million suddenly. 